It is. It's a, a brand musical. new musical. Yeah. Um, it was first a short film, uh, and it's about two young boys, and they they end up in the Stonewall Inn in 1969, where they meet some wonderful drag queens, you know, and then they end up time traveling through the decades. And it, the story is um, the two moms and how different it is in 1988 to to, to 2018. We're still not quite there yet mm. in 2018. Yeah, there are still similar are struggles, still, isn't there? Yeah, so many similar struggles. Um, but what we're hoping is that we can show this, the short film, the musical, to not just teenagers, adults as well, that are struggling to talk to somebody and struggling to come out mm. and, 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 and say who they are. Yeah. And for us to let you know that it is all right to be who you are. Of you course, because they are talking about potentially showing this in a lot of schools as well, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, the short film is already shown in uh, schools across Wales and the UK. Um, so it's really educational. It's to help not just the students, but the teachers as well, the parents, to be able to talk about it. Mm. Um, and we're hoping that the musical is going to get filmed as well. Um, and that too will be shown and used for educational purposes. There you go. And you played the mum, obviously, I do. there. I played the mum in the 1980s, which is brilliant because I get to use my naturally curly hair, <laughs> which no one's ever seen before. <laughs> it's horrendous. I you really suited. It doesn't look like me at all, does it? Which I think is a good thing. Um, but when I read the script, I thought, well, this is so far fetched from anything I've ever played before. Um, She's a real gritty character and she doesn't understand her son. Um, he wants to perform and be on a stage and he, he loves Madonna and she, and she just goes ballistic with him and it, it's quite tragic. Um, it is quite emotional piece to play. Really emotional. I spend all tough. day crying, you know, and, and um, it's hard. Yeah, as and much as they're funny little bits, obviously. Yeah, but it, there's a lot of humour in the show, intense. but for me, there's, there isn't really very much, which is why I took it, because I've, I normally play the funny girl, you know, so this, for me, is brilliant. It hopefully will showcase something different. Yeah, me. and being back in the theatre, you love that. I, I do I love the theatre, so. I really do. And this is more like a play with the most incredible songs, because the script is so good, and there's so much of it as well. And then you hear an amazing song, and the songs are so catchy, it's really, I'm singing them in my sleep. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> no, it, it, it does, it sounds a, gr a great piece. Closet, it starts on the 14th of, of August. 14th of August to the 23rd, and it's only 10 shows at the Hope Mill Theatre, so please come. We want people to uh, feel that they can come dressed how they want to dress, be who you want to be, come with whoever you want to come with, and you will be loved completely in that theatre. Okay, right. well, that, that sounds great. <laughs> you, you, you did it well there. Now, we're talking soaps, obviously, and you were in Emmerdale. Incredible looking at Gosh, your little face so in it. So many years ago. <laughs> and, and Corey, of course, as Andrea. So EastEnders, is the final one. If you were to appear in EastEnders, that would make you the only person, wouldn't it, to appear in um, all three soaps? To play three lead characters, I think so. I know my friend Dan Brocklebank has also been in all three doing oh, okay. little different things. So um, I think if I went into EastEnders at any point as a, as a regular, uh -huh. then that would, pretty, that would be a big deal. Well, that's it? what we think you would look like. Oh music. my god. <laughs> That's hilarious. People keep asking me, am I going to do it? And I'm like, I don't know, maybe one day. Who knows? Well, you, you never know. You put it out there. These things do you think happen. people will cope with my Cockney accent, though? Can you do it? Go on. No, I, no, I've done it now. I'm not doing it again. <laughs> Get out of my pad. That's very good. It's better than mine, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> but it is a strange thing. I mean, Corey certainly was a soap that you, you actually didn't want to leave when. I didn't. You know, I used to work to. at the indoor Corrie place in Blackpool. They had the set built in Blackpool. When I was 16, I was a tour guide no. for Corrie and I met all of the oldies. They all came and, and I thought, one day I'm going to be in this. And it's like I've come a full circle. And on my first day, I walked in and I, and I had to pull up outside and ring my mum. I was terrified of going inside. My mum went, oh, get in, you silly girl, get in. <laughs> it was just like a dream come true to mm. be in that show. Yeah. I loved it. You show. would go back as well. If oh, they... in a heartbeat, I'd go back, yeah. They're a proper little family there, and I love it. it and the same with Emmerdale, too, you know? Emmerdale taught me everything I needed to know about soaps and about filming, and everything's filmed so quickly. And I love that. I love the pace. Yeah, it's, it's really just, good. It's so you, OK, it sounds great. You never know. Like never I say, know. let us know. <laughs> <laughs> it's great to see you. And you. Thank you.